the circumstances in uh, a number of First Nations communities across the country are indeed um, troubling. And particularly, there's a community in Ontario, Wapakika, where there were uh, unfortunately two uh, young people who died by suicide in recent weeks. Uh, there are deep challenges in these communities that have led to uh, a situation where young people don't feel hope for their future. We have worked with First Nations communities and other Indigenous uh, peoples across the country to develop the solutions that they need. In the, in the case of First Nations, they have developed a First Nations mental wellness continuum framework. We uh, intend to continue to support that. We have invested $300 million this year in mental wellness across the country. In the Anishinaabe Nation, which is the area where this, uh, uh, the, where Wapakika is, we're investing $24 million uh, to make sure that, uh, that mental wellness uh, needs are addressed across the community. Uh, it's very tragic to hear about circumstances like this, and this is not the only community that is suffering, where young people are struggling to be able to, uh, to find hope. And uh, we're deeply committed to working with our partners to be able to get new mental wellness teams, new crisis teams in there to respond to those needs. The, the Wapakika First Nation, though, had submitted a plan to Health Canada in July. They knew that uh, suicide among youth was, was a, a potential you know, crisis in their community, uh, but they were denied that funding. Why? Well, there are ongoing conversations between the First Nations Inuit Health Branch and communities like Wapakika and other communities uh, across the country. We have made uh, significant new investments, and uh, the goal is to have 32 mental wellness teams across the country, including cri mobile crisis teams, uh, to help c support communities like Wapakika. I've been in communication with the national chief, with the regional chief, and with the chief of Wapakika. Chief of Wapakika is obviously in, in tremendous tremendous distress over what's happened in his community, uh, but uh, we've been working every day uh, this week and last to be able to make sure that additional mental uh, health workers are there and uh, to respond to the uh, specific requests that they have had. This is not the only community that is struggling and we are continuing to provide resources. It's not just short-term solutions, though, that are required in these communities. We are dealing with a legacy of generations of trauma, of people feeling uh, disconnected from their culture, and absolutely we will get uh, urgent uh, mental health resources into communities like Wapakika, but we also need to address those deep-seated uh, realities of why uh, people have lost hope. Grand Chief uh, Alvin Fiddler had, had made the point that um, in a recent article that the fly-in strategy sort of after the crisis isn't working and, and you know, calling for a national suicide prevention strategy. Uh, some of the funding you're talking about, is this is this sort of aimed towards that? Does that coalesce into a prevention strategy? Or? Well, in fact, it's, we believe that it's important to work with the people who are in communities to build capacity within them to respond. And in terms of what strategy to follow, uh, in the case of First Nations, they have developed what they call the First Nations Mental Wellness Continuum Framework, which was put out a couple of years ago and has come from the community itself. There also exists already a National Aboriginal Youth Suicide Prevention Strategy. So it's important to, to use these particular approaches where the solutions have been found from within these communities and for us to be able to resource them. So. Uh, the, that, that is what we will continue to do. We have made significant investments already, uh, and the, the urgent needs to be needs, urgent uh, issues need to be addressed along with, as you say, not just flying in crisis workers, but building the capacity, building the hope and the opportunity within those nations.